Is your Samsung phone slowing down? Maybe your games feel sluggish or your app switching takes forever. Your phone needs regular maintenance and this is what I'm going to teach you today with 10 simple steps which are going to make your phone a lot faster and also more comfortable to use. Before we begin, make sure you consider subscribing to this channel so we can reach 5,000 subscribers at the end of this year. Hope you can do that and we can grow as an educational company let's go to step one so the first step is automate device optimization so right here on my phone the only thing i have to do is to swipe down and then go to these settings right here which will open the settings menu and then what you can do already do those weird things is scroll down until you find battery and device care you can see this right here let's click on it and then you can see your device checking your phone. Right here, the three dots, you can see that right here, you can see automation. So let's click on it, and then you will see this. Auto optimize daily, auto restart at set times, and adaptive power sharing. You can see the options right here. And what I recommend you do is you click on auto, my, auto optimize daily. This will keep optimizing your phone every single day. And if you click on it, you can see optimize your phone automatically once a day if close apps are to free up memory and all of that. I have my, I have my time around 3 a.m. because I am then sleeping. Close apps to free up memory. Very smart. And also right here in device care, you can easily click on memory and then clean your memory, which is very good. And I'm going to give you another quick tip, but you can also click here on clean now and it will clean up some memory for your phone. After doing this, you can see these options. Click on RAM Plus. Make sure you have the highest one selected. So if you do that, you have to restart your phone. But do remember, you're going to gain a lot more RAM on your phone, which is of course memory to play around with, which means you can open more apps at the same time for the cost of a little bit of storage. For example, the eight gigabyte here cost me eight gigabytes of phone storage, but it doesn't matter because I would have more memory on my phone. So there's a quick tip for you. Oh yeah, and another one, if you scroll down right here, you can also see memory resistant apps. Let's click on that one. And then make sure that if these are apps you don't use often, make sure you put them in deep sleep because it doesn't need to be in the background. For example, CapCut, get out of here. You don't need to be in the background running all the time. The second step is also within device care. You don't even have to install any apps right now. And sorry, my phone does weird things sometimes, but you have to go to storage right here. And then after doing this, you can see all of your files. Make sure you scroll down because you have things in your trash you can delete. For example, I only have calendar contacts, but you can also be having gallery and files apps, which you need to clean. So if I click right here, you will see all my personal things, also contacts. But if you click here, I'm just gonna have a look. Oh, that's my sister, it doesn't really matter. You can easily remove everything here and make sure you really deleted it. There you go. By the way, if you have an S tier phone, if you have an S series, you should be able to also do enhanced processing, which is also a bonus tip. It's going to make your phone faster for use of more battery. By the way, if you want to have your device care on your home screen or be able to open it with searching for apps, for example, right here, you can see device care right there on my phone. So I can easily click on it and open it, it as an app. Even better, you can have it as a widget. But to enable this, you have to click on these three dots again, right here on the device care app. Then make sure you go to settings. After going to settings, you should be able to see show device care on app screen. Make sure you enable this and then you will find it on your app screen, which will allow you to of course make widgets of it. I know my launcher is different, but if you have widgets, you can easily edit right here. For example, storage and optimization and optimize. You can click this every single time when you think your phone is slow. So here I got some settings. I'm just gonna click on save. Now I have it on my home screen and I can press this really big, big button every single time my phone is a little bit slow or want to clean it and then it will clean my phone. There you go, your phone has been optimized. Here also are also more advanced apps normally for developers, but I recommend you turn this on because it will turn off animations on your phone. So make sure you go to the settings menu. After doing this, 
make sure you go down. After doing this, you should be able to find about phone. Make sure you click on it and go to software right here. After doing this, make sure you go to your build number. Make sure you press it five times. There you go. And now I'm developer. Sometimes you need to configure your password here, but if you have to do that, do that. After doing this, make sure you go back. After doing this, go to developer options right here. And now we have a lot more settings to play with, which is going to make your phone a lot faster. For example, when I open an app or something, you can easily see that it has this animation, which is of course a lot of time consuming. So step four right now is to turn this off. Make sure you scroll down and you find these three options. Window animation scale, transition animation scale, and animator duration scale. So make sure you press on it and you turn them off. If you want to have half speed, you can do this. But there you go, I'm going to turn them off because it will make my phone a lot faster. I've turned them off right now. And now you can see that if I press here or here, it is instantly and not slow. I just pressed on something, but yeah, that's a step now. Step five is for gaming performance. You can turn on 4X MSAA on your developer settings. So make sure you keep searching until you see Force X MSAA, which is of course for gamers. So let's turn that on. It will enhance graphics and gameplay smoothness, but may use more battery. Do remember this, but your games might look a lot better. What I recommend you do is you go back to the five settings, go to battery, and here you can see background usage limits. Make sure you press on this because every single app that's open is going to slow down your PC. I mean your phone and your PC, of course. But here you have put in used apps to sleep. Make sure you turn this on. Here I have never auto sleeping apps. But yeah, for the rest right here, we have sleeping apps and deep sleeping apps. Deep sleeping apps means that it is almost completely turned off and you're not really going to receive any notifications. There you go. You may not receive updates or notifications. It says right here. But for sleeping apps, it's different. It may be delayed. So depending on how you would want to use your phone, a lot of apps you could probably be putting in deep sleep apps right here, just because you're not using them often. After doing this, it will optimize your background apps. If you have a newer phone, you can go to settings and then to display right here. This is probably only available for newer phones, which have a higher Hertz display, which means that everything looks a lot more smooth. I don't know if that option right here, but you can also turn off screen resolution right here if you put it on the lowest one possible it will give you more battery and also more performance because it takes less pixels to generate every single time you're playing a game or something so make sure to put it on the lowest one i don't have this option on this phone but you should also have motion smoothness which you can turn on normal unless you want adaptive which means that it will change every single time with the speed of your display, how fast it reacts and everything like that. But the lower you put it to a normal mode, the less battery it will take to process your screen. If you go to settings, make sure you search for power saving right above, and then you could go to power saving right here. But if you click on power saving, you have multiple options. For example, making your phone slower, less brightness, and always on display. What you can do after turning this on, is of course choose which one you want to have turned on. It will give you more battery throughout the day, but it will reduce the speed of your phone. So depending on how you want to use it, you can turn off some things. For example, limit CPU speed to 70% instead of 100, and this will make your phone faster. So that's a personal preference, but it will make it faster, especially if you use enhanced processing, but sadly it can't be combined with power battery of course because this is going to use a lot more battery for more speed like i told you make sure to subscribe to the channel because now i'm going to show you the best tip in the video and now we have to install an app from the samsung store but this is a samsung app itself so make sure you search up the galaxy store right here we we are going to open this one make sure you click away these red ads sorry you can't turn them off but now we can go here to the search bar. And if you have an S series phone, 
It is only available by newer phones, not budget phones. I'm sorry for the M series and A series, but it's only possible for S series. But right here, you can search and make sure you search for good guardians. I typed that wrong, but you should be able to find this. If you cannot find it, it probably means your phone doesn't support this. And I'm very sorry because this is a very powerful tool. Right here, we have Good Guardians. Make sure you install it and then open the app right here. After doing this, you can see so many great options. Track your battery usage, extend your battery life, boost up app's performance, manage device temperatures, free up memory for better performance, and manage the media files. My favorite right here is Galaxy App Booster. Make sure you press on it and then optimize your phone with all the apps. These are not your apps, these are also Samsung built-in apps. So let's click here on optimize and now it's going to make your phone all faster. If it's combined with the animation scaling like I told you in the beginning of the video, it is going to make everything a lot faster. Everything starts up within a second and you don't have to wait anymore for your device. Of course, it also offers way more useful apps. For example, a memory guardian, if you want to play around with that. It's gonna take a moment because, of course, my phone is busy with optimizing. But right here, you can also clean up your memory, exclude some apps, you can customize some things. For example, pr priority. Uh, I recommend you put it on default because quick switching mode is not that great. Keep more apps in the background when using the previous app again is more likely to run the last state of the app not starting from the beginning so that means that it's always in the background which means it takes more memory so right here we have monitor you can uh, clean up right now there you go if you combine these all you should be able to make your phone a lot faster i'm talking about only samsung this is of course going to take a minute the galaxy app booster but right here we also have some more cool options for example track your battery usage i can really press create on these screens but right here battery tracker can tell you what you're using and what takes the most battery so for me it's 16 percent on always on display which is very bad i know but this phone is only really used for me to see my time to have an extra phone while i'm recording with my own phone and all those things so you can see what takes the most battery and it's very important for example TikTok. Uh, you're using it too much but yeah here we also have battery guardian which is also very cool because you can get your phone to do things for example power saving during bedtime this is my bedtime i guess so uh it will power, it will turn on power saving during this time and it will save your battery throughout the night consume less battery you can also extend your battery life scroll down go there and here we have so many cool options you can turn this on and that will optimize everything. Uh, make sure you do read what it is enabling, what it's disabling, but it should be able to make your phone a lot faster and also extend battery life. Like I said, screen resolution and uh, turning off other things, for example, the speed of your screen, how it looks. Uh, Wi-Fi power saving mode, I recommend you turn that off. Don't ever enable it. It's going to reduce the speed of your Wi-Fi a lot. So don't do that. And of course, some more like Thermal Guardian. I don't recommend you look in here because it's only about the temperature of your phone. Just leave it at the middle. Don't even touch it. Uh, it should completely be fine. Of course, we also have Media File Guardian, which is not very much something. It only tells you which files you have. It doesn't really clean it or something. Use the file scare for that one. And while we are talking, the optimization has been complete right here i can click on done my phone is a lot faster now i can press the buttons would be nice there you go it's a lot faster now so even though this is an s10 plus you can see that right here this is an s10 plus it is a lot faster now we've optimized your phone if you really enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe down below right now because if we hit 5,000 subscribers at the end of the year i will make so many great projects with the educational space make everything easier to understand more comfortable turning text into video hope you enjoy all of that i will see you in the next one and to thank you so much for watching goodbye